Good morning guys and welcome back to the channel. Today I have another cool video from PMX Motorsport and today we're going to be working on an M1152. All right, here next to me I have the Genside uh, Stream Media rear view mirror that we're going to be installing on this truck. Um, this video is not being sponsored by this uh, manufacturer, by this vendor. We just decided to install this uh, on the truck. We believe it's a great uh, feature to have since it's going to be beneficial for all the Humvees since they don't have a rear view mirror and uh, honestly the ambition on the on the back of the truck is really limited when you have like a, like a two-man truck with no glasses and and some stuff like that so uh, all right we're gonna open this now we're gonna go over the product to see the quality of it all right here we got this this is the mirror so as you all can see if you take this off the film what we have is a real mirror in the back now this is like a screen on the left, it's going to show the front camera, which is this one over here. It's going to be facing forward. And on the other half, it's going, to it's going to show the rear camera. The cool feature about this is that you can see dual cameras at the same time. Also records to an internal SD card that's going to be inside the, the camera. And if you get involved in a crash or in any kind of accident, it's going to go back like 30, 35 minutes, um, seconds, I'm sorry. And then you can see what ha actually happened. So all it requires is like a one wire connected to 12 volt um, power from your truck and another wire all the way to the back of your truck where you're going to be connecting your rear camera. So since we don't have a rear view mirror on the Humvee already, an existing one, where we're going to, this one should be mounted, so we're going to fabricate in a small bracket with four holes that we're going to be bolting to this one. That way we can uh, put that bracket on the A-pillar on the truck and then we're going to mount this one over. So stay with us for that part of the process. We'll be back soon. Don't go anywhere. All right, this is uh, what we built. This is how it came out, the bracket. It's all welded, so we sprayed it in black. I already drilled four holes in the metal sheet. Now the next step will be, uh, we're gonna drill the same holes in the, on these little brackets over here, and we're gonna rivet this, uh, this to these brackets in here. So you can take these brackets off. You can put the band back on there. So, which is gonna make it a lot easier if in the future you gotta replace the, this due to malfunction or something, so. All right, so what I'm planning on doing also is, uh, since this piece is gonna be on the, on the windshield and you can see it from the outside, I'm planning on covering this piece with carbon fiber uh, vinyl. So it's gonna have carbon fiber over this and it's, it's gonna look a lot better than the way it is right now. All right, let's drill the holes and see how it's gonna come out. This is the carbon fiber we're gonna be using for. It's a black vinyl. This is a 5D or something. It's a 3M carbon fiber. All right.
All right, this is how it looks. Camera, we pull it out. And now, so uh, now we're gonna go back to the truck and we're gonna mount this on the, on the truck, see how it's gonna look. All right, let's see if we can get in here. I hope you guys can see in there. So, we got two holes in there already. Put the first one. I'm gonna tie it up. Make sure it's even. Tight. Tight. That's how it should look. Driver's gonna be here. It's gonna be looking over here, so I mean, it's gonna be able to see everything now uh, in the back of the car. And that's the front camera, so I wanna pull it out, I wanna keep it in. So, honestly, it doesn't really matter. So, all right. Now the next step is gonna be, uh, we're gonna run one wire that's gonna be for the camera. It's gonna be on the, the back of the, car, the truck and the other wire is gonna go uh, to the power. It's gonna be 12 volt power. So thinking um, maybe I'm gonna get the power from the fuse panel, the one over there. Maybe I'm gonna get it from down here. So I haven't decided yet what I'm gonna do. So, um, let's see what we're gonna do there so i got 12 ball in here so uh, we i did a conversion in this truck so i got 24 12 volt down here i also got a fuse down there so what i'm thinking is that maybe i'm gonna use the power from the, the fuse panel that i got behind this uh cluster that i built this dash over here so let's see all right so we just built the bracket we mounted the mirror on the truck and now we're going to show you how it actually looks so follow me come on now I'm going to show you how the mirror is looking on the truck. It's looking amazing, guys. You guys are going to see the quality that I'm talking about. So over here, I show you what we did. So the mirror is up there already on the truck. It's perfect. It's crystal clear, clear. So now we're going to turn the truck on. You're going to see the mirror up there. Let's just start. It's showing two cameras, showing the left for the front camera and the right for the rear camera. See, you have the date in there. You have uh, uh, the time, of course, we gotta fix that. Also has an option for an SD card that you can install and you can record your own videos and all that. Over here, I installed a switch. Watch how the camera's gonna change now. Now all you have is a rear view camera. You don't have a front camera anymore. And that's when you're backing up and all that. Since in the we don't have the, um, the reverse light signal coming from the, the shifter. That's why I installed this, uh, all the switch that you, you can activate and then it will uh, act, send signal for the reverse uh, camera. I'm gonna put it back uh, the same position it was. We still have two cameras in there. Great quality, is 1080p actually. So that's how we run the wires all the way around the pillar. Down here, then it's coming inside this uh, dash that we built over here. And behind the dash, we have like 12 volt signal coming from all the way from the battery. We put like, we saw like a few spots in there with all the fissures, so you can see there. We have this fuse panel. And that's where we're getting 12 volt from. We're getting 12 volt for the, the gauges. We're getting 12 volt for the batteries. I'm sorry, for the, the mirror. Or um, some lights in the truck. That's the only way we can actually run all this. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. As you can see, this is something simple that you can build yourself if you want for your hobby. All you gotta do is uh, you can go online and get a review make camera, camera like the one I show you. There's plenty of options out there. They have 4K, 8K quality. 
you can pick and choose any model. I mean, you can pick the one you, you like the most. So we just went with this model because uh, it was accessible locally and we went with that specific model. You can also uh, get like a small metal sheet that you have at the shop, any metals you have um, that you're not using in your shop and you can cut it and you can fabricate your own bracket. It's, the process is so simple. However, as you all can see, the outcome is great. It is a great improvement for your Humvees since they don't have any option. I never seen a Humvee with a rear view mirror versus a Hummer where you have that. So I think it's, uh, it's beneficial for everybody. And uh, like I said before, I hope you enjoyed the video. So don't forget to like if you haven't uh, liked the video yet. And please subscribe to the channel. That way you can keep getting notifications about any new content that we upload, any uh, new uh, material that we put. And then uh, we can keep doing this, uh, this video for you guys. So uh, thank you for watching the video and see you all next time.